ripening out here. Hey, what's ripening, guys? So, as you may have seen in my last video, I get a lot of fruit off my sapodilla tree. Here's a little bowl of them right here. I've got some more ripening up inside. Um, but I got something to show you, and you might not have seen this before. So this fruit goes by many names. Um, I call it sapodilla. Other people call them naceberries, nispero, chico, chiku, um, on and on and on. Very popular fruit, native to Central America, I think Mexico. Um, grows really well here in South Florida, and really tough tree. Very, very sweet fruit. Um, so sweet, in fact, that I don't actually like to eat them by themselves. It's just, it's too much for me. But one thing my wife discovered about two years ago um, is that these things turn into graham crackers, and I'm going to show you how. So the first thing is to make sure you have ripe fruit. And these take oh, quite a while to ripen up. Um, basically what you're going to look for is for a fruit that gives just a little bit. Um, some people like to let them get really ripe and really soft. Um, not me personally, I like them when they're just starting to give. Um, they're not all grainy and slushy, they still have some firmness to them. Um, if you try to eat this fruit before it's ripe, you will know about it. It'll be astringent, it'll be awful. If you've ever had an unripe persimmon, astringent persimmon, it's similar to that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is cut these fruit um, in half across the middle. And when you do that, you'll be able to see the seeds on the inside. Um, what I like to do is go ahead and pick all the seeds out at once and set them aside. You can, if you wanted to try to grow them, you can. Next step would be to go ahead and spoon the flesh out of each of the fruits that you've cut in half. Uh, go ahead and scoop them out, put them into the Vitamix, and you'll be ready to go ahead and blend them up. You don't have to add anything to this recipe. If you want, you could put a little cinnamon in there, but it's really not necessary. Um, it's, this is actually just a one ingredient recipe. It's just sapodilla. Um, so once you have enough, put them in the blender. Go ahead and blend them up. You don't have to do it on super high speed. Just blend them up, make it to, into a puree. And then you're gonna take the dehydrator sheets and pour that puree onto the sheet. Spread it out a little bit to make a nice uniform uh, layer of the puree and stick it in the dehydrator. Uh, we usually will put it in overnight. We'll put it on the, uh, I think it's like 125 degree setting, set it for 24 hours, um, put it on overnight and check it in the morning. Um, the next day when you check it, usually the edges will be dry, the middle may or may not be dry. That's what you're gonna look for. Um, if the entire thing has dried sufficiently, you can go ahead and flip the whole thing over and do a final little bit of drying to make sure that it's evenly dried out. What you're gonna have at the end is actually crispy uh, consistency. It's not gonna be like a fruit leather, like if you've, ever, if you've ever done, you know, dehydrated strawberries or blueberries, you know, on there, you end up with like a fruit roll up kind of thing. This doesn't do that. This turns into a crunchy cracker graham cracker. It tastes just like graham cracker. In fact, the first time we tried it, I, I couldn't believe that she had made it with just one thing. I thought, I thought she was giving me a, some kind of weird homemade graham cracker and, and it turns out it was this and it's amazing. You can store them for, you know, up to a week, I would say, maybe longer if you've got them really nice Ooh. and dry. They usually don't last that long around my kids. So, um, they're, they're always gone within a few days. But anyway, that's my recipe for raw vegan graham crackers. I hope you enjoy. Um, if you do, please give me a like. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel and post some comments. What do you like to do with naceberries or, or sapodillas? Have you ever had them before? Would you like to have some? Um, I can give you more information about that in another video. If you have any questions, please post them down below.